We're on tour in New Zealand. So we've now arrived on the west coast of New Zealand and we're here at the fantastic Birds Ferry Lodge. I'm going to meet up with Allison and Andre so they can let us know all about this fantastic location. Hey. Mikey C. Hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Mikey C. Hello. Andre. Andre. Great to finally meet you guys. Indeed. I've indeed. heard all about this place. And we're looking forward to working with you and we've got some great recipes lined up. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm starting to get really hungry. Good. Good. And Andre's ready to go and there's some vegetables needing picked in the garden and he's going to get them ready for us for, for cooking. So he's going right. to go and do that. So I'm going to hop on my bicycle and I'm going to bring some lovely green, fresh, wholesome vegetables. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Well, we'll see you in a little bit, Andre. Right. Thanks so much. Okay. okay. Let's go get started. Let's do it. Hello, my name is Andre. I'm on the west coast of New Zealand, lost in the, in the rainforest a little bit, but I found some other travelers that would like to have a look at our gardens. We've got a, a meal planned at the lodge and we're going to collect the produce to take back to the lodge. So if you'd like to come with me and the chickens trying to get into the... <laughs> The chicken's trying to get into the garden as well. So if you'd like to come with me, and we'll go into one of these hothouses, and um, we'll be able to get some produce. So here we are inside the hothouse, and we're going to pick some produce for today. So there's some tomatoes over here, which we'll get later on. As you can see, we're hanging up some, some peppers over here so they can dry out, that would have been harvested. And behind me is, is a grapevine. So this is actually inside the hothouse. The hothouse is about 20 meters long. So the grapes go all the way down to the end. These grapes have been on the, we've been picking these grapes for the last about three months. And um, we're going to have another few weeks picking out of them. So we come in here every day, white grapes on one side and red grapes on the other. So we're just going to get some, some basil to go with our meal. So we'll just get a few leaves of these. Okay, and some tomatoes over here. As you can see, it's quite well towards the end of our growing season. So some of the leaves are starting to fall and go brown, but all these plants have been magnificent producers. We've harvested from this ground over here. And what we've planted now is a green manure. So it's, it's oats and a few other plants and it rests the soil in a way. And it gives the soil a bit of um, variety from growing the, the normal produce. So we're just outside the tunnels and you can see we're in some more elevated beds over here because once again it's all about drainage and you know we, we harvest things from here for about 11 months of the year we're going to get some fennel for today's quinoa and um, i'll just pull some of these out there you are. so once a week we go into westport and we go to the coffee shops and we get all their coffee grinds from their machines. And it's fantastic for the soil. The worms really, really like them because believe it or not, the worms smell the coffee and it, it, they come towards where we put the coffee on the ground. And you can see we've got artichokes over here. There's a whole line of rhubarb down along there. And we're just going to take our produce back and see what they can do with it back at the lodge. So we're on our way to go and do some cooking. So we're back at the lodge and we're just going to get some more herbs and I'm going to get some mint over here. Righty. Oh great, here's awesome. the beige. Awesome, Andre. Wow. Oh, they look fantastic. Wow. This is the fresh fennel. Fantastic. Look at Thank that, you. guys. Great. Fresh fennel from the garden. Shall I give you that? Thank you. Thanks, Andre. These are baby ones. That's baby excellent. fennel bulbs. So uh, what are we going to do with this lovely well, fennel Well, I've planned a parsnip, fennel, 
and quinoa pilaf. Excellent. Vegetarian dish? Well, we need to start by peeling the parsnips, okay, okay which are in season uh -huh. at this time of year and they're just at their very best at the moment. You wanna do one and I'll do the other yeah, one? Sure. I gotta, I gotta get the idea of this whole chunkly thing. So you're just trying to give them like all about the same relative size, yeah. so they'll roast yeah. even. Exactly. Yeah. Dress them with a little bit of olive oil. Okay. That helps stop them drying out in the oven. So just... nothing like some good organic olive oil. Yeah, that's right. And a little salt, pepper. Yeah. Yeah. A little pepper. And you fresh might want to get in there with your fingers and just move it all around a oh, bit. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. All right. Move it around a bit so that everything gets coated evenly. So this is ready for the oven now. Okay. Hot oh. oven, about 180 One Celsius. Celsius. Yes. So that's about 350 Fahrenheit. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to go and pop this in the oven now. Awesome. All right, and I'll come back when they're ready. Okay, don't leave me for too long. So what's next? We need to deal with the onion. Okay. So we need to peel it and uh, fine dice. Fine dice, okay. Mm -hmm. Where is this going? We're going to saute this in the pan here with a little bit of olive oil. Excellent. And we can put that okay. straight in. I see garlic in a yeah. garlic press. Are we going to get Definitely. some garlic in here? Definitely, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's Excellent. what I like. Can you scrape that off for me? Sure. Can I do something with the fennel for you while you're sauteing Yeah, there? definitely, yeah. So how? We need to trim off the fronds. Yeah, quite finely sliced. Okay. In. Great. Super. Got a spoonful of Good, coriander yeah, seeds. Yeah, heap spoonful. Deep in. Yeah, there we go. Cumin. Mm, Beautiful. It's another heaper. Yeah. All right, and this is a great way to get the, the kitchen work out. You're gonna get some nice biceps from this. So we're gonna pop that in there. That's great. Okay. And we're gonna add a teaspoonful of turmeric as well, please. Ah, turmeric. Next. And you have the red. Mwah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll go with that. That'll be plenty. Yeah. There we go. We're using a vegetable stock today, homemade vegetable stock. Tell me when. Keep going. Okay, that's fine for now. So this is some of the mint that Andre picked from the garden. That's today, huh? the one. Those are preserved lemons. Look smell at that. that. It smells amazing. There might be some pips in there that you just need to watch for and take out. Okay, and we got a little fresh coriander, or as you guys might know it as, cilantro. Oh, Allison, those look absolutely fantastic. Look at these guys, yeah. nice and brown and chunky yeah. style. And they're Beautiful. so, we're ready just to pop them in. Going right on in. That's awesome. So you want right. to show me your magic, Allison? <laughs> okay. She just looks so gorgeous. So should I put some yogurt in? This harissa paste is basically the, the North African kind of very mild chili kind of paste. Over the top, but without that you'd have a perfect vegan dish. And then just some of the fine herbs to, to garnish to finish it off. So, there we go. All done. Allison, nice job. You're welcome. I'm super excited for our next two recipes. Can't wait. All right, let's get to it. Okay. Check out the Hippie Gourmet's quick and simple cookbook for healthy eating, available wherever books are sold. If you've always wondered about visiting exotic and beautiful New Zealand, then check out Organic Explorer New Zealand, organicexplorer.com.